your eyes Get some rest Hey friends, I'm here in this very, very white room. But I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at what is going on up here. We've been busy working on our bedroom slash baby's nursery. We've made a lot of progress. The room looks so different than it did. Second coat of primer is going up and getting ready to get this room painted with the actual paint, which also happens to be white. <laughs> See what Chris is up to over here. Doing the closet. Hello. Fun fact about this closet that you're in, that he's in, this is all new. So, you actually built the space you're in. Yes. It's pretty cool. Brand new closet. So framed it out, drywalled it, now we're painting it. Okay, enough of the bedroom. I need to go harvest dinner, so I'll bring you guys out with me and share with you. Ooh, trying to avoid stepping in paint. Gotta check my feet. We're good. Okay, let's talk about what we're making for dinner tonight. I'm really excited about it. I actually just decided what we were doing tonight yesterday and have been excited all day about making it. So oh, let's head on out together and figure out this meal. So from the garden, I need to harvest broccoli, dill, potatoes, and try to find an onion that might be large enough. So we'll see what I can find. So let's go outside and grab those things. Broccoli, onion, dill, potato. Four things. Got my garden hod. Let's go outside. I have a little greeter. Hi. Ow. I just need to go grab some gardening gloves. Anybody who might be pregnant and interested in gardening, it's important to know that gloves become even more important when you're pregnant than they do when you're not pregnant because gardening is actually the greatest risk of toxoplasmosis. So, put those gloves on and be careful in the garden and wash those hands. Thank you, kitty. First thing first. First things first. First thing first. Let's grab the broccoli. Beautiful head of broccoli. My favorite variety. Forevermore. Bell Star. Let's grab an onion. I don't see any that are of a real good size, but I'm gonna grab one um, that's decent size and then what I'll do is I'll throw some onion tops in the blender when I make the meal and to add some extra onion flavor. Now let's grab potatoes. This will be the real test because I actually haven't harvested any potatoes yet. They're just getting to the point where they're getting ready to be harvested, but we're gonna pull up um, a, a plant and just dig around for a couple potatoes. Uh, I just need a couple, so let me show you the Yukon Golds, what they look like right now, and we'll go ahead and pick one or two. So this whole area from about here all the way back until you see it end is all Yukon Gold potatoes. This is where I need the gloves working on the potatoes. Okay, see what I can find. Oh! Okay. This little guy here. With a real little guy. Another little guy. Thing I actually checked on the potatoes because they're still pretty small which makes me think that they might have yet a little while to go but I'm glad I harvested those ones I think I harvested about one plant and 
There's a bunch of, of medium sized potatoes in there. Let's go ahead and grab the dill and then we'll go inside and talk about what we're making for dinner. Whew. Or I'll just wait and see if you guys wanna guess while we're making dinner. So I've got some dill right here. Here, cat. I heard you. Were you in the tree sleeping? Oh yeah, you were sleeping in the tree. I can tell because you just did a big stretch. So I'm just gonna pick some of this real quick. Just a little handful of dill. Last but not least, let's pull, let's pull a head of garlic from this bed where the garlic badly needs to be pulled. Get my glove back on. This isn't bad. Not bad at all. Not huge, but certainly not small. So we got garlic, potatoes, onion, broccoli, and that's it. Oh, and dill. What do you think? Do you get ready to go inside? Oh, you want me to stay out here with you? These little barn cats certainly know how to make our lives happier and more fun. They're so sweet. I'm really excited about this dinner. I can't express that enough. Whew. It's been a long day. Long day. But a beautiful day. I mean, it hasn't been too hot. Sun's been out. As you can see, as you can see, the sun's still out. I see a cat over by the back door, snuggling with Chris. Hi, Smitty. She's so sweet. I know. As soon as I came out here, she found me. Do you see all these drops this from cat her drool? Is drooling everywhere on my shoes. <laughs> Cause she's so happy. Yes. Found a pepper and some tomatoes to harvest. So I got a little distracted. You said put us on hold. Let us stop for a minute instead of running. You've always known that if we stop. We just added celery that was grown last year and has been frozen um, in the pot. We added carrots that we got from the store because we didn't grow carrots this year because they just didn't happen. Um, we added our onion that we just harvested. What else did we add? The broccoli stems and a little bit of oil. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me show you guys. Now I'm gonna start chopping up the potatoes and the garlic and see what else is next in this recipe. Oh, I gotta get the onions heated up. Or the um, uh, the oven heated up to 350. Can you guess what we're making yet? Probably not. Probably can't guess, but you'll see when it's all done. This is an exciting part. I know it's loud in the background, but I'm about to add vegetable broth from last year's garden. So I made this special broth and I pressure canned it, which is really important. You need to pressure can vegetable broth. And now I'm gonna add it to our dinner. So I just chopped some more broccoli and some bread and drizzled with olive oil, pop that in the oven that's gonna to be topped off on our dinner. And now I'm gonna pop everything in this pot into the blender, the Vitamix. And uh, yeah, we're well on our way. So let's keep going. So in our meal, we used homegrown broccoli, homegrown potatoes, homegrown onion, homegrown garlic, homegrown celery, and homemade vegetable broth with homegrown veggies. So lots of homegrown foods in this recipe. 
And I think one of the really cool things about it before we eat, which we're going to in a second, is that I didn't think we'd get potatoes or broccoli this year. Our broccoli crop is super late. We're in July and we're getting broccoli now, but it's beautiful, delicious broccoli. I didn't think we'd get potatoes because I planted potatoes and then we got 29 degree frost suddenly and unexpectedly really late into May. And so what happened was I thought the potatoes had frozen, they wouldn't grow, and then they've grown beautiful plants and we have potatoes. So we have potatoes and we have broccoli and all of these things that I didn't expect. And I didn't think we'd have onions because one day I forgot to water them and while I was hardening them off and I thought they all died. So lesson of this story is don't expect failure or assume failure. Just wait, be patient. So let's go ahead. Let's take those those guys out and let's let's eat. It's just so I tried it. It's so good, guys. So I'm really really excited about it. This is a warning from the past to make sure you're learning from mistakes that you did last send me a letter when you're done evaluating what so we made dinner broccoli cheddar soup. no cheddar all broccoli and the creaminess is from cashews topped with homemade croutons using trader joe's sourdough bread which we could make ourselves and i might say they're very delicious very crunchy Homegrown broccoli, so good, so crispy, so flavorful. Let's eat. Let's do it. I didn't think it was fair for me to do a whole recipe and uh, tease you guys about what we were eating and then not share the first bite. So I'm gonna add a crouton to my bite. Here it goes. Hmm. Good. It's so good, you guys. So creamy. You can taste that fresh dill really strong. It's very rich. Super rich, but there's no cheese, no dairy, no like added oil really other than what we cook the vegetables in. Really, really healthy meal and the recipe's from Love and Lemons. I'll link it in the description. I did not come up with this recipe. But I did use homegrown produce and I think that's a unique twist on it. And I think you should try it too. Bye friends, see you guys next time.